Hey, y'all. Happy Sunday. Listen, we are coming off the tail end of the Keisha Cole movie, This Is My Story. And it has been reported that Keisha Cole's baby father to her second child was stabbed almost fatally. Now, luckily, he is doing better and doing well. But according to what the streets are saying, his ex-girlfriend, Ariel, may have something to do with this. Now, he has officially scrubbed Ariel off of all social media platforms, pictures, anything. You don't see anything of them together. Hmm, there's a story, and it needs to be told. Y'all, welcome to Royer's Corner. your first time welcome if not i'm so glad that you decided to join me again please remember to hit the like button on this video comment your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section and if you're not a subscriber hit that subscribe button and that notification bell on all that way you see each and every time i post a video with you in mind y'all let's get right into it y'all tobias is lucky to be alive y'all he you know is very very blessed to be here because after this situation that we're about to talk about he, he's a fighter. He's a fighter, okay? So Keisha Cole's ex, uh, Nico, was hospitalized after a near-fatal stabbing and said he's lucky to be alive. So here's Nico. Nico is 27, I want to say, I believe. 27. Yes, I'm correct. He's 27. And, you know, him and Keisha, they have one child together. Their youngest, uh, Keisha's youngest son. And so Tobias and Keisha met in 20... 18, 29, 20, I want to say 2018, 2017, they met and then they had their son together in 2019. Okay. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a blessing for him to still be here. Thank you, Jesus, because no child needs to grow up without their father. Okay. So fans offered prayers when he posted a picture in the hospital bed with his and Keisha's three-year-old Tobias. Uh, Nico didn't share any information in his first update on Instagram except gratitude to still be here. Look how cute this little boy is. He is just adorable. He's so cute with his dad. This is a beautiful thing. Beautiful, sad situation, but a beautiful picture, okay? Beautiful picture. And so he captioned that picture, lucky to be alive, okay? In a follow-up on Saturday, he explained that he survived a stabbing. The vicious attack left him with a punctured lung. Nico needed emergency surgery to repair the damage from the stab wounds to his arm and chest, which also ruptured his diaphragm, okay? The proud father didn't go into detail about what happened, but the life-saving surgery already sounded like a terrifying ordeal, okay? So here are pictures of Nico... Here he is after the surgery and everything. Here he is laying in the bed. Y'all, This we just thank God that he survived. Now, he captioned that up here. I got stabbed in my chest and my arm. My lung was punctured and collapsed. My diaphragm was also ruptured. They had to cut my stomach open and put a tube in my chest so that I could breathe, he said. Y'all... Now, y'all know I had emergency surgery back in May. I could, I was done with that. I couldn't even imagine this. I could not imagine. I, like, oh, the fear, the terror. You really have to be a fighter, y'all, in order to make it through situations, even like mine, because I had to fight through mine, even though I didn't want to. But situations like this, when you hanging in the balance, you really got to be a fighter. And I'm so glad that he decided to push through and continue to fight on, okay? So um, a series of pictures showed the Something Changed About You rapper 
road to recovery, okay? By the grace of God, today I'm back on my feet and I am breathing on my own, he continued, okay? In addition to another photo in a hospital bed, seemingly clinging to life, he highlighted his support system. Nico posted his two loved ones who visited him. Excuse me. He also shared pictures in a wheelchair with his medical team behind him, okay? So I showed those pictures up there at the top. Those are the same pictures right here with him and the team, okay? So uh, <sighs> Nico didn't speak uh, on the almost deadly attack that damaged multiple organs. However, fans in the replies have already started reading between the lines and sharing theories, okay? So this is what I be telling y'all when the streets be talking and we got to listen, okay? So commenters claim Nico didn't need to say about the incident because nothing speaks volumes like scrubbing your partner off your social media. Internet slith clocked that recent picture of his girlfriend suddenly disappeared from his profile, okay? Now, um, some people say it must have been his girlfriend. One person replied. Another said it was definitely the girlfriend, allegedly. She deleted all their pictures off her page, shaking my head. Another adding fueling uh, the theory. So, you know, I have a little picture of her. Now, this is who they say. This is Ariel. This is who they say his the, 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 the ex is, okay? Now, Ariel looks innocent to me in this picture, but it's always the innocent ones that you got to look and check after. It's always them, because the, the, the quiet ones be the one, okay? So let me go on and read, okay? They noted that the lovebirds were inseparable until Nico was fighting for his life in the hospital, Okay. Um, according to social media detectives, the couple just had to just had moved together, moved in together. One observed that Nico's most recent girlfriend, extremely clingy, um, if we're being honest, and I hope she didn't snap seriously. OK, so they say sis is clingy. OK, I, 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 I don't know this chick. I never heard of her, you know, but. You know, being clingy in a relationship is a very dangerous thing because if you can't, if you can't be with yourself, take care of yourself, be by yourself, if you constantly have to be with someone, there's going to be some major issues down the road because eventually, you know, that individual is going to want some alone time. And for you to continue to be up under them, it's going to cause friction and, 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 and possible, you know, situations that can turn deadly but i ain't saying sis did anything i don't know nothing at all okay this is all allegedly okay so yikes he hasn't confirmed or denied anything about the attack or their current relationship status his high profile um coupled with keisha cole went public in 2018 the couple welcomed their birth uh of their son to uh tobias the next year, they broke up in 2020, but maintained good co-parenting relationship. Nico posted plenty of pics of his adorable father-son time with his child. Um, we're wishing Nico a full, fast recovery and to get well soon, okay? And this is from Bossup.com, y'all. So, you know, Bossup is reaching him a well recovery, wishing him a well recovery, and so am I, y'all. We got to be careful in these streets. We got to be careful who we dealing with, who we claiming ourselves to, because these people, you know, <sighs> I ain't saying she did nothing. I don't know nothing to be factual, but, you know, scrubbing somebody off your social media, you know, that's why would we have to take a person down off our social media? I mean, we did break up. So that's the thing of when we break up. But what was the cause of the breakup? Hmm. Y'all, let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section. Do you think that this young lady has something to do with it? Because for us to be together, you know, and now you're not here with me while I'm in the hospital all of a sudden. And they said that he just did, you know, they, they just wiped all both of their social medias. Something in the water ain't clean. And as Auntie Diva say, well, don't come out in the wash. We'll come out in the rinse. And then if it don't come out in the rinse, 
it will definitely come out in the dryer. Y'all leave your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Do you think, you know, that something could be more than outside of her? Do we think it's something outside of her? Nico, you know, he's, he's, he's in this music industry. In this music industry, we know you got to do right with the people. We got plenty of examples. But y'all leave your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Hit the like button on this video. If you're not a subscriber, check my channel out. If you like what we got going on over here, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell on all. That way you see each and every time I post a video with you in mind. And I also have created my membership page, uh, Prince Royer's Club. If you want to join us for $2.99 a month, go ahead and hit that join button and I'll see you there. Thank you for joining me in Royer's Corner today and I'll catch y'all next time. Bye.